Hello my friends, it's Sherry. How's everyone doing today? Welcome to my channel. I'm so glad you're here. I hope you're having a great day. So um, I'm here today to share a new project I'm starting on. And so it's a journal, but it's a different kind of binding than I've ever done before. And I just really wanted to try it. I've been seeing different people make these uh, uh, little golden book journals this way with the uh, golden spine turned like this. So I wanted to try it, and also I've been seeing a couple of people make it with the elastic. Uh, um, it's a, a, a binding, basically, to hold your pages in. So uh, I decided to start with this Sleeping Beauty book. As you can see, here's the gold spine, and here's the back. I think it's so cute with this gold turned in. I never knew I would like it so much, but it's so cute. So it has this closure. And I can hang a charm. I'm just starting this. It's not done or anything. This is uh, just a the beginning, really. But I wanted to get it to this point because I've never done it before. And I didn't want to do it on video since I've never wanted to see, you know, how it, how it was and how it came, you know, came to this point. So I've got this pink elastic cord here. And this is the closure. See right there. So uh, this is called, or at least I had the, heard the other creators call it traveler's notebook binding style so it's not a traveler's notebook size or traveler's notebook or anything it's just the binding style with the elastic here and then you can see a little piece of elastic here that I've tied in a bow so the inside pages I've got two signatures which you can see right here and uh, I've got two signatures in here I've already got the inside I covered this because it was very you know plain and I just wanted something pretty there so I covered both the inside of the pages or book covers. I did put some fabric here where I reinforced when I turned the golden spine together like this. I uh, reinforced a spine with my regular things that I do to make a new spine. And then I added the uh, cording, which, which ends up in this bow to uh, hold the signatures in. So. Here's one cord holding this signature in and another cord. Well, it's all one piece is how I did it. I've seen people do it with one piece or two pieces. I did it with all one piece uh, wound around so that it's all, this cord inside is all one piece. And you, uh, it's right there in the middle of the signature and it looks really nice, it's flat. And uh, that's the way, I did it that way so you wouldn't have the, the knot inside here, you'd have it's all one piece and the knot ends up right here. And I can hang a little uh, tassel or whatever on this cord, I believe, or at least that's my plan. <laughs> so uh, we'll see how it ends up in the end. But this way, uh, with this type of closure, of course, as you can probably guess, uh, you can move things around. So you can actually remove pa single pages or the whole signature or whatever you want like that you know it just comes right out or say you want it I would just be careful you're not damaging your top of your pages here with the elastic because it does have to be tight in order to hold the pages tight you know what I mean into the journal so uh, and I put them I put the uh, I put the uh, holes where this goes let me get this in here right I uh, put the holes where the um, elastic goes through at the very top and bottom. Here's the bottom part. Now I could do the opposite. I could put the bow down here and put this part up here. But I think I like the little bow up here. So that's why I did it like that. But uh, yeah, I put it, see, it's pretty close to the bottom there. And this is really close to the top. So that I can make the pages as tall as possible to fit the book cover. So now I'm at a point where, okay, I've got my, basically got my signatures bound. So now I can decorate a little. So I thought today I would add some trims. So I've got several out here and I was kind of doing a little preview before to see where I might want to add my first trim. And I think I want to add, this is pink rickrack. I've got a couple of pieces here of pink rickrack and I want, would like to add some right here. I think this would be really cute to start off the journal with this pink rickrack right there. So we're just going to do that and see where where um, where some of uh, these trims. I've got one, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven trims out here. So we'll see. We'll we'll do a little challenge to see if I can add all of them. So uh, with Rick Rack, I use Fabri-Tac because it's got these ridges, you know, it usually has the ridges in it and it needs uh, something like Fabri-Tac. If you're not going to sew it, it needs something like Fabri-Tac to hold it down and, and you know, keep it secure. <laughs> so, um, but I want this right on the edge of the page here. Uh, so I want to put the, a little stream of, just a little stream of my Fabri-Tac right on the edge. <laughs> Did you see that? By the electricity just went out and flipped back on. Did you? I'll see what it looks like on the video, but I hope it didn't. I mean, of course, my phone, I record on my phone, and my phone is a video, is a battery, so it shouldn't affect the video. It's, uh, it looks like it's still going, so <laughs> isn't that funny? Got dark for a second because the electricity blinked. That means my timer went out, too, on my TV that I had going. But uh, I have a clock in here. I don't know. I was wondering if you guys could hear my clock in the background because it has a really loud uh, tick-tock. You know, if you could hear a tick-tock in the background. I put a new... It's not new. We had it upstairs. And we, when we moved everything down from up... You know, and, you know, got rid of things, decluttered, all of that. From upstairs, we... Um, I had this clock left that was in the bathroom upstairs and... They didn't need it up. They didn't need it in the bathroom or want it in the bathroom. So I, I got the clock and I was like, well, what am I going to do with this clock? And I had a clock in here that I had bought really cute, like shabby chic looking clock that I put on my wall in the safe spot. This one's in, <clears throat> but I guess the thing where you hang it from wasn't as secure. And I knocked it off the wall one time and because there's a shelf right next to it and I was getting something off the shelf. Let me see if I can cut this without my fabric scissors in here. My fabric scissors are on in the other room. But um, there we go. So that looks cute. The first trim. But yeah, I knocked it off the wall and it broke. And I tried to fix it like something with the hands. Um, they wouldn't stay in place anymore. You know what I mean? They would just spin around and, or, or just, you know, all went. They were just loose and they wouldn't... Uh, attached as far as being able to move around the dial anymore so I tried to fix it every which way and it just I couldn't it wouldn't it wouldn't work anymore so I um I I'm just looking at this side to see what it looks like okay I'm gonna leave that like that for now and um I might trim this pocket this is a pocket here yeah oh it's not cut yet oh no this is not a pocket this is a page okay there I was confused and let me grab something here because I don't want that to, in case a little glue seeps up over the edge, I don't want it to attach, like it almost tried to do, attach to this page right here. And let me make sure there's no glue on there. And uh, so I don't want it to do that. So I'm going to put this little piece of, this is a piece of folder um, that had a clear front. See the little holes there? So I, I've been keeping this here. I brought it in here. I didn't know why I brought it in here. <laughs> but apparently I'm using it for this and it comes in real handy because this is slick. And, uh, you know, if, if the glue did try to attach to this, it would, I'd just be able to pull it off because it's kind of slick. So it comes in real handy to just to put in between my pages to make sure nothing is getting glued together like that. So, okay, that's the first trim. Yeah, so I knocked that clock off the wall. Let's look for, um, well, let's see. So I used the pink rickrack there. Let's go to the last page, of that, which is that same paper, which is right here. So, yeah, I could have decorated this before I put it in, but I, I just really, you know, wanted it to be, them to be in so I could see. You know, just to me, I, I can see how it how it is when, when it's in the journal. So, okay, so let's put in their piece here. So we're kind of consistent with the uh, pages because this is the first page of the and last page of that signature, kind of like the cover page. Uh, I got a little bit of extra glue here. Let me get that off over there. A little, a little tissue over there. Okay. So yeah, I knocked that clock off the wall. It was broken. I couldn't fix it. So I had this clock from upstairs. So now I put it there in the same spot where I had a nail or whatever to hang it on. 
and uh, I often was wondering since I put it up there if you all can hear it but that is what it is if you can hear a little tick tock in the background <laughs> that is what it is my 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 repositioned clock that I had upstairs is now here so I because I I have um, you know you know I have my phone in here and I have my you know timer on the TV when I'm doing a video but it's nice to kind of look over and see oh it's whatever o'clock you know it I instantly know I don't have to go get my phone or uh, look at you know if my TV's not if I'm watching a video or something and I don't have my timer on I can instantly see what time it is so for this very instance now that the the uh, my TV went off since the electricity just blinked now I uh, know what time it is okay there we go another one another trim done and that's all well I have this left and I have all of this left from the um, from I uh, from the uh, I just got a message on my phone so it's messing me up here kind of you know now so now I'm not gonna worry this whole time that I'm not even recording but uh, I think I am so uh, <laughs> hopefully I am you know what I'm gonna pause real quick and then come come right back just to make sure I'm recording just one second okay there we go yeah I was recording I think okay <sighs> Whew. okay so anyway back to concentrating on the trim so I've got more uh, rickrack to use now I was looking at this one it's a brighter pink and I was also looking at the colors in the cover here and there's lots of colors in here this is kind of a pinky and it goes into like some purple here red blue you know just kind of all kinds of colors in here so I've got kind of all kinds of colors in those those ranges for the trims so I was thinking this trim right here would be pretty and this cut this signature cover has a bright pink more of a bright pink in it too so I thought this would be really pretty on here. So I'm going to grab my other scissors. They're a little bit, I have over on my sewing machine. They're a little bit sharper than the ones I'm using at the moment. Let's see, where are they? Let me grab those. And a tissue. I still got my allergies going on today, unfortunately. But they're better. I think they're better. But still a little bit, still a little bit bothering me. I haven't taken any, any pills today. The ones even though they're supposed to be like daytime pills they still make me kind of sleepy or uh, you know not feeling quite awake <laughs> kind of like foggy so I don't really like feeling like that so I haven't taken any today I'm hoping to get away with not taking any today so I'm going to cut this right here and see how we can see how this glues on this is that burlap it's burlap and the pink is burlap and then they've got the white lace there so uh, yeah, I think I want this right on the edge so a little bit peeks out let me see how it looks on this side and make sure because I didn't really want to cover up let me show you this side see I could put it here but I don't think it really looks good on that side no I don't I don't like it I really don't like it on that side but I like it on this side this is white and if I put the glue right on the edge, I could even sew this on. Um, I might do that. You know what? Because I can take this page out. Yeah, I might do that. Okay. I think I would like to do that. Okay. Hold on. I'm going to go sew the sew and I'll show you when I get back. Okay. So I sewed that trim on. Here's what it looks like on this side. And here's what it looks like on this side. And... Also, let me grab a piece of paper. This could be a tuck spot too. So, because I sewed it right here on the edge. So, that can be a tuck spot. So, pretty cool. And so, next trim, let's see. Let's do something a little different here. Um, I was looking for a place to use some of this leaf trim. Okay, and I think I found a spot, but I don't remember where it was. <laughs> so let's see. We'll look. Uh, I'll show you the other trims. I have that leaf trim. I have this pink pom pom. So while we're going, we'll look for that place for that. 
I have this pretty, pretty um, pink. Well, it's kind of a reddish, orangish uh, color trim, fabric trim. I have some pink and white gingham in this little bag, and another pink flowered fabric trim. You can see through that bag. And I have this blue one, too. Since there was blue in the cover, I thought, well, let's pull out, pull out some blue. So anyway, let's uh, flip through here again and see where I wanted to put. See, she's a, uh, she's a, um, let's see, where is a picture of, some, of um, Sleeping Beauty? And uh, she's kind of out in nature, you know, when she's growing up, she lives with the, the fairies, is it? Is, are they fairies? I, yes. <laughs> this is my favorite story. One of my favorite, you know, Disney princess stories. But see how she's out in nature here with the animals. And that's kind of how she grew up, right? So uh, I figured this leaf trim could go in here somewhere. And I've been wanting to use it. This is a stationery. Okay, maybe it was in the second signature. So let's look through that to see where yeah it wasn't on oh I know where it was it was on uh, some ledger paper that's where it was now it's coming back to me yeah somewhere like this right here it looked cute on this ledger paper so let's do that so again this I would need uh, Fabri-Tac on while I was paused I went and got my other fabric scissors from the other room let's see I think I like the leaves uh, facing out like this with the stems facing inward because the stems are kind of delicate and I don't want them to get bent or messed up. So about right here we'll cut. I just measure by you know <clears throat> placing it on the page and then cutting after I measure it that way. It's not always necessary to use a ruler and it you know inches and things like that. You can just measure like that. So let's see my, my fabric tack here. I'm going to put this on the trim so that I don't get extra or too much on here and then it shows too much, you know, around the trim. So I'm going to try to, let's see, I've got some glue strings there, some dried up glued strings <laughs> hanging from my fabric tack. Uh, also, I've been using this cardboard to protect my surface here. Let me grab that so I don't have to glue in the air. Here and we'll use this real quick to put some glue on here. So I'm gonna to try to get it right down the middle. I just need to get this. This is about one quarter left in this this particular bottle here. And I've always gotten my. By the way, I've always got gotten my um, or bought my. Fabric tack at Walmart. It's just, you know, I don't go to Michael's and and in any other places, Joanne's, Hobby Lobby, that much. I'm not saying I don't go there, but I don't go there that much. So it's just convenient for me to get it when I'm at Walmart because we have a Walmart in our local little town here. And uh, but uh, lately they have they don't I don't know I think they're. I think they're redoing some of their glue area and that in the craft section you know and they've gotten a lot of new I noticed I think I think I noticed them getting a lot of new Gorilla Glue but um, they still are carrying Fabri-Tac it's just that they're out of it they just have the little t one little t the smallest size like they have the small medium and large but they have only one of the smallest size and I really don't like to get that one because the best deal is the largest size. I've looked at the ounces and the per ounce and all that price. And the best one, you know, is uh, the best price is uh, the largest one per ounce. So that looks cute, right? I like that. Add a little nature in here to uh, a nod to Sleeping Beauty when she grew up in, the, in nature with the fairies. <laughs> So, uh, there we go. I like that. Uh, do we want any more? Do we have ledger in the first signature? Let me see. We've got graph paper. And here's some ledger right here. 
um, this is toward the front of the sec second signature. I mean, I could put it on both sides of the ledger, and I might do that too, but uh, I don't want to run out of time here to where we can't use the other trims in this video. So let's just do this one, and if I do more, I'll put it on after the video, but I kind of would like to do this one here in the first signature. So I'm just going to cut right here, I think, and do it with this piece again. I think that turned out really well. I couldn't see any glue around the leaves when I was putting it down, so doing it this way, just putting it here right down the middle of this trim uh, is good. All right. Now let's get this one down. See, it's pretty quick. But that was cool that I could take that one out, that one page out, and sew on it. <laughs> you know what I mean? So someone getting this journal could do the same thing. You know, that's kind of the point of making this kind of signature, is you can take it out once you get it. Add, and add to it. and Move things around, you know? So very cool, I think. I think I might try my uh, December Daily that way. Doing my December Daily that way, which I'm going to start working on soon here on my channel. I've already started working on it. I just need to um, let you know do a video on where I'm at with that. So it's just in the very beginning. So I'll, I'll do a video soon on that. But uh, that is super cute. I really like that. It's something a little different. So now let's uh, let's use some of the blue. Another something different. You know, not I don't want to get all overly pink in here. <laughs> Although you know, I do love pink too. So is there a place for the blue trim? I don't know have not looked yet so um, is there a page I just want to see if there's a page that in particular where it might look really pretty like and go with things like she's got her dress is blue there so I only have a little bit of it too this and it glues down really good see I only have a little piece it glues down really good um, it could go here because uh, I would put it here because this is white and I would have some color here and then this whole you know opening here would be for whoever gets the journal to be able to write or do whatever glue in a picture or something and you can you don't have to worry about this if you're gluing say in a picture it would look cute glued over this a little bit over the trim too so or over all the way if you have something that goes all the way over this would just be in between, so you don't have to worry about that really blocking your your creativity, whatever you might want to put in here. So, anyway, let's do this. I think it's going to be really pretty with her blue dress over there. Even though this piece is here, kind of all. See, the, this is green, and it goes with the green here. So, very cool. And not that you can't move these around either, so <laughs> there you go. All right, let's cut this right here. And... Yeah, so this glues down really well, this fabric um, kind of ribbon with uh, with some, I think I'm going to put it on here too, with some art glitter glue. So it's kind of, you know, thin, so it, it goes down really nice with the, the art glitter glue. So I'm just going to put it all over like, like I'm gluing down a piece of paper. Even though it's fabric ribbon, kind of like gluing down a piece of paper. I do want to make sure the glue streams or streaks don't show through, so I'm going to look at the other side real quick in a second here as soon as I get the glue all over enough, maybe in the corners, and see if it's showing through at all. It really isn't. I think I might smear it out a little bit though, because sometimes it isn't. And then it'll dry, and it, and it like you'll put it down, and you'll then you'll see the streaks after you put it down. But then it'll dry, and they'll go away. So I don't know. I don't want to take any chances. So I'm just spread it out like that. Plus, it, that'll give it a better. I don't want to get any glue on the outside of the book here. So let me move that. But yeah, I don't want to take any chances. So I just smeared it, smeared it out. And now I need to wipe off my hands, my fingers. Okay, so that looks really pretty. And it's uh, that I got at a thrift store. You know, it's not new or anything, so it could be vintage. 
you know, these things don't have a date on them, but it looks kind of vintagey. So, and I think that's really pretty. Okay, it adds a nice little touch there. Okay, let's see. This glue is drying on my hand fingers, so I'm okay. <laughs> All right, so now we used a blue one and I have this little piece left. I may try to find a pocket or something to put that in. I think um, that would be pretty on a pocket or one of these little pages or something. So let's try to look for a spot for this one. And this is the red flowered one. Uh, let's see, so we have two in the front here and two in the back, so trims that is. So let's see, where was I? I was on the well, let's start at the beginning. So we've got, I'm not going to put anything on this graph paper. The graph paper is pretty thin and I don't really feel like it can support a trim like that as far as the weight of it. Even though it doesn't weigh anything, it's just uh, I don't want it to, you know, sometimes when you make a page heavy, it gets a little weird. So, and I noticed that I don't really like, I don't want to cover up, I could put it on the inside, but I don't want to do that either. It, oh, it looks pretty there on this ledger. Maybe we'll put it there. And let's see, let's just look through the rest of the pages and the first signature real quick. See if there's anything else that jumps out at me. Let's see, where's the last page? Right here. We put the pink trim there. Pink rick rack. Uh, how does this look? I'm sure this is not going to look good, but I just want to see something real quick. Nope, nope. <laughs> I didn't think it would. I just was... Like how I said I could put it on a pocket. I wonder if I do have a pocket that would look good on. See, it doesn't look good there either. Uh, so here's pages from the book. And why? Well, I really like it on that ledger paper. It has the green leaves in it. So I think that's why it looks so cute on this ledger paper. And the ledger paper is a little thicker than the graph paper. So that's why I don't mind putting it on here. Even though it still might make it a little heavy. The graph paper just feels so thin. I don't know. Some most of most graph paper, you know, or grid paper, whatever you want to call it, seems like it's pretty thin, but once in a while I'll run across probably a vintage graph paper that's thicker, you know. So but usually a graph paper, although I love writing on it, and even maybe glue something on it, but um, it is a little thin. But I do like to have that different kind of paper in the this I'm going to use, well, let me use my, uh, this is a pretty thick ribbon. Let me use the, the Fabri-Tac here. And it's a pretty good, you know, half inch size. So I feel like it's okay to go ahead and put a stream of glue here on the page. And it will be covered up, plenty covered up with this trim. And I'm going to let it not be right on the edge, just, just off the edge there a little bit. Well, I think I will put it right on the edge because that secures the edge, you know what I mean? Gives a little more strength to the edge. <clears throat> As you're, you know, flipping back and forth you and you're handling the edges of the pages, it's less likely for anything to happen to the edge of the page because you have that little extra security and strength there with the trim. So trim is not just for decoration, right? It's for strength too. Okay, so we have used all except for two now. The pink and white gingham and this pretty little flowered one. So let's go to the second signature since we've put like three there. Let's go here. I really want to use this flowered one next because I don't think I've used that yet and it's so pretty. Now this is such a lightweight, it would probably, let me take it out of here. It's such a lightweight I could, oh this is very lightweight. But um, so pretty, look at that. It would look beautiful there, but I still would like to put it on another page. I don't think anything's gonna go on this page because it's just too much, too busy already. Yeah, so let's just look for a page. And this is a pretty lightweight paper here too. I think it's thicker than the graph paper. That would look pretty. Oh, that looks really pretty. Let's see what else we have. See, I could put, oh, this, see, here's a white page. I really like to put trims on white pages or something on the white pages. See, what's on the other side of that? Oh, this is the pretty paper. Is this what I have in the front, too? Hold on. Uh, oh, oh, it's a different version. See, this has the pink background, and this has, like, the turquoise background. It's a different version of the same paper. Uh, no, I'm not there. On the back. <laughs> Hello. So, right here. 
Let's cut a piece. I need to cut the, the other end is a little frayed, so I need to even that up. But let's cut this piece here. This is going to look very pretty here. Add a nice edge. Just a little frayed here. Let me cut that off. All right, so this, again, more like fabric uh, tape is uh, or fabric ribbon. It's a little, it's, it's a little bit grow grain, though. Is it grow grain? It's, it's, if it's grow grain, it's barely. It's not really um, super thick grow grain, grow grain or thick grow grain at all. So let's um, put some glue on here, the fiber tack on this one. I don't think the... Uh, and this is thick enough that I don't think I have to worry about stream streams or string strings uh, showing through this fabric trim because it's it's thicker than the other one, but it's still thin enough to so you to use the uh, our glitter glue. Okay, I'm gonna put it right here. Let me move that and let me move that so I have a flat surface. All right. Super pretty. Now, let me see where it is. Kind of off the edge. Do I want to move it over? I think I do. If I can. Hold on. <laughs> I put it too far over. It was kind of blending in with that other page that's before it, and I couldn't see where this one started. Okay, there we go. And, all right, that looks pretty. There we go. Isn't that pretty? Just a little bit of a delicate touch there, but it adds a lot, and I think it's so pretty. Okay, do I have any glue out here that I need to worry about? Where's my little protection? Oh, it's under here. I'm going to put this here to make sure this is protected. Uh, do we have time for one more? Look for a place for the gingham. Uh, oops, I pulled that page out by mistake. Um, let's see. Let's look further back here. Oh, here's a pretty little blank page here. Oh, it's the other side of that page we just put trim on. Anything else that's going to jump out at me? Not really. So, let's, um, let's put it here. And then we'll be done with the trim. Well, not done. I done on for the uh, for the video, but I might go through and see what else I can <laughs> what else I want and I put trim on. I don't want to put trim on every page because I might want to put something else on the other pages. You know what I mean, like some tabs or something. And if trim's there, then I don't put a tab you know over the trim. So that's why I just don't put trim on every single page. But that is super cute, and I don't know if I've used this before or not. It's so pretty, mm, and it's. Again, uh, kind of like a fabric ribbon, this one, and it's uh, pretty thin, so I think I can use my let me move my things around here and put some. Oh, what I knock on the ground? Something. I'll get it in a minute. <laughs> so uh, let's put some glue in here. Make sure there's not a front or a back here. Yeah, they both look the same. So I think this is like double-sided kind of ribbon. Really pretty. So let's um, just kind of smear that a little bit there. That way I won't be overdoing it. And have glue all over. Put this down on the edge. <laughs> so I strengthen the edge and add a pretty edge to the edge. Pretty trim to the edge. Okay, let's move it over here so you guys can see. Moving it over a little bit, trying to keep it straight too. Before it dries, you know, our glitter glue dries so quickly. Okay, there we go. I think that looks good. Alrighty, we did it. So we added trim. <laughs> okay, so I don't know what's next, but um, there, you can see that little lacy one there. That is pretty, isn't it? I like that little lacy one. I am glad it's, you know, you when you turn it to the side, you can see it, but it's not sticking out beyond the book because when 
I was worried because, you know, I told you I hadn't done this binding before. So when you turn this over, there's nothing in the way, but you can still see that little trim. I might put, want to try to put another one of those in there because I really like how that looks. I mean, it looks pretty just with the one, but uh, I might try to put another one in there. Or maybe two. <laughs> one or two. So anyway, thanks for watching today. I hope you enjoyed the trims for this journal. And let me know uh, how you like this this binding if you have a journal with it or if you think this is really cool where I kept the uh was able to keep the golden spine I think that's really cool I've always I've tried to do that before but it always ends up you know either getting cut off or covered up so I think that's really cool I think it's just like super cool I love it like that so anyway let me know if you love it too and I'll see you in my next video have a great day